Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna be checking out the AlphaFuge Sump lineup from eShops. Oh, it's a big box day today. So this is essentially their flagship line of sumps packed with features using one of the most iconic color schemes in the hobby, which is a nice little hat tip to the kind of reefer that this sump is designed for. So let's dig into it. When it comes to sumps, some reefers like to keep things pretty simple since that also tends to be the most affordable route. But for those reefers who want as many built-in features as possible to keep things not just convenient, but also super clean looking, higher tier feature rich sumps with various configurations that better suit our reefing needs are the bee's knees or cat's meow or fish's fins. Okay, now I'm just making stuff up, but I think you get the idea. The AlphaFuge lineup from eShops is exactly that, a feature-rich series of sumps with all the modern conveniences that reefers have come to appreciate in a slick and stylish sump. You get a quiet water entry system, filter sock chamber with a clear lid, dedicated skimmer, refugium, and return sections, along with a removable algae guard, hang-on media basket, locking dosing tube ports, probe holders, float valve for your ATO, you get the works. Plus, the orange and gray theme does look pretty awesome, and the opaque orange baffles will prevent light spill from that front and center refugium section. So, before I get ahead of myself, let's get this one out of the box and see what it comes with. In the box, you'll find, beyond just the sump itself, a gray ribbed drain tube, a media basket, the filter sock, the removable algae guard, and a black coarse foam pad. The Alpha Fuge is currently available in three sizes, the AF 100, 200, and 300 rated for heavily stocked 75 gallon, 125 gallon, and 225 gallon reef aquariums respectively. The footprint of the 100 measures in at 24 by 14, the 200 at 30 by 14, and the 300 at 36 by 16 inches, and they all share the same standard 16 inch height, making them an easy fit for most standard aquarium stands. You'll get two drain bulkheads on the AF100 and 200 and three drain bulkheads on the AF300, making it really easy to accommodate Herbie or Bean Animal style overflow boxes that have one or more emergency or backup drains, adding a third drain to the 100 or 200 for those using a Bean Animal style overflow system on a smaller tank is definitely doable by dropping a PVC pipe over top of one of the other chambers, albeit a little bit tight depending on where you want it to let out in the sump. Now, if you're like me and aesthetics mean a lot to you, even on your filtration, and you want everything to be matchy-matchy, the Alpha Fuge series pairs very nicely with eShop's Prodigy line of super slim overflow boxes, which we've actually done a spotlight on in the past. Just saying, I think they'd look pretty good together. The flow path on the Alpha Fuge line is a little bit different than the typical left to right that we usually see, and instead it uses a three-way split flow path starting in the middle of the sump against the back wall. Water enters through the bulkheads into a quiet water entry system. From there, the water is split between three different paths. Some of the water will travel left through the filter sock and then into the skimmer chamber, and from the skimmer chamber, it'll then travel down and back underneath the filter sock and water entry system and up a small baffle into the return section. The second path will direct a portion of the water entering the sump into the refugium section, then up and over a baffle protected by a removable algae guard, and then down through the coarse foam pad and into the return section. The third path will take a portion of the water from the water entry system and it'll travel up and to the right rather than through the sock, where it'll spill through the hanging media basket and then down into the return section. Like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna get that mechanical filtration in the form of a filter sock, as well as that coarse foam pad that sits between the refugium and return section. But you also have that hanging media basket, which will be a great spot for some extra mechanical and biological media, and will operate more like a wet dry than a typical submerged media basket. The skimmer section is decently large, and it's going to be able to accommodate a wide variety of skimmers, but I will say compact models with an internal pump are your best bet to keep things easy to get in and out. The skimmer section does have a Euro brace or lip around the top for those dosing tubes and probe lines, which does reduce the listed footprint by about an inch and a half in both directions. So keep that in mind when you're picking out a skimmer. 
Onto the refugium section, it is pretty large and quite tall, which is great and should provide ample space for growing Kato or other macroalgae. The walls are opaque, which is also great because it's going to help prevent light spill from reaching the other sections, so you don't end up growing algae in places that you shouldn't be. And the removable algae guard and foam pad is going to help keep any floating bits of algae from wandering off to your return pump, while also making it very easy to remove and clean when needed. The return pump section on these sumps is also quite roomy on all three models, which is great news for those who want to run dual return pumps for redundancy and safety. You shouldn't have any trouble getting a pair of compact return pumps into even the 100 model that I have here. Just keep in mind that you do have that built-in float valve that does need some clearance to move, so don't go jamming a pump directly underneath it. Speaking of that little float valve, having it built directly into the sump for your auto top off is a great little redundancy and saves you from having to get one separately. eShops also included locking dosing tube ports with rigid tubes, probe holders with slats to hold the cables, as well as a clear lid over the filter sock, and the media basket that I mentioned earlier, all of which are fantastic little upgrades that we don't always get to take advantage of on more basic sump models, but make using and working with a sump like this a more pleasurable and convenient experience. I mean, while it is a very small detail, even just having the minimum water level marking permanently on the front of the sump where it's really easy to see is a really nice touch. Now, when it comes to maintenance, the Alpha Fuge is going to be fairly straightforward with one caveat, which we'll touch on in a second. Both the skimmer chamber and the refugium are right up front and will be very easy to access for harvesting Kato or dumping out a full cup of skimmate. You do have enough room in all three of the main sections, even on the smallest model, to sneak in the CJ Ultra Zero for sucking out any water and debris, but you'll definitely need a smaller power head with a vacuum attachment to get into the water entry system. Now, onto that caveat, you will want to pick up a flexible Fox tail brush like this one to clean the baffle from the skimmer section that lets out into the return section as it is a little bit tight. The channel underneath the water entry system that leads to that baffle might seem like a very awkward spot, but it's unlikely to grow any algae since it's hidden from light and a little power head will be a great way to blow out any trapped debris so that your Ultra Zero can pick it up and haul it out. So if you've been after a slick sump packed with features that will appeal to just about every reefer out there, or maybe just really dig that freaky cool orange and gray theme, and the Alpha Fuge matches your reefing mantra, you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.